9 Things You Need to Know About Kotlin Any software engineer will tell you that there's a library of options, pun intended, when it comes to choosing a programming language to specialize in. The answer to this question depends a lot on the functionality you want your code to possess, how optimized you want your code to be, and the time constraints of your project. Today we're going to add another tool to your arsenal and highlight 9 key insights about the Kotlin programming language that'll make you seriously consider it the next time you work on a new project. Welcome to Kofi Group. We're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers on a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. Our videos cover hiring tips and strategies for startups, software engineering, data science, interview preparation, salary negotiation, remote work, recruitment tips, and much more. Subscribe now for the latest software engineering and machine learning insights, invaluable hiring tips, and the best career building advice on YouTube. Also, make sure you stick around to the end of the video for a bonus that you don't want to miss. Number 1. Kotlin is relatively new. When you think of programming languages, you most likely think of classics that date back to the 90s like Java or Python which is why it may surprise you that Kotlin is a language that appeared only 10 years ago in 2011. As a result, you may notice that the syntax is modern, building off the syntaxes of older languages like Java, but minimizing the frustrations that go along with languages like that. Number 2. Kotlin is a relaxed version of Java One of the first things you'll notice about Kotlin is that it takes influence from Python in that it doesn't require a semicolon at the end of each line. Rather, replacing the semicolon with a new line character to signify the end of a line of code. Aside from that, however, it retains a lot of the syntax of Java. You'll have a remarkably quick transition if you decide to switch over, and will notice a lot of features that'll reduce the infamous headaches associated with programming in Java. Number 3. Kotlin Features Type Inference While Kotlin is technically a strongly typed language, it boasts the val and var keywords, which allow the language to infer what data type you wish to use for your variables without requiring you to explicitly define them, saving you quite the headache. But for all of you that like to make sure that your strings stay as strings, don't worry, type declaration works just fine too. Number 4. Kotlin Fully Supports Functional Programming Kotlin makes it clear that it is completely on board with you using it as a functional programming language boasting support of higher-order functions, anonymous functions, lambdas, inline functions, and all of the other features that you would expect in a language designed purely for functional programming. In other words, Kotlin may be the one-stop shop for whatever project you're wanting to take on, able to support many different paradigms at once. Compare this to Java, which can technically support functional programming through lambda functions, but doesn't even compare to the suite of options that Kotlin offers to both new and experienced programmers. Number 5. Kotlin has a variety of safety options We've all been there. Maybe a null pointer exception is just not making sense to you at all. Or maybe you've accidentally assigned a null value to a variable and haven't noticed it until your code makes it all the way through production and onto QA. Kotlin, fortunately, is there for you. It has the handy feature of making null illegal for standard data types but gives you the option of allowing it by putting a question mark after you declare the data type. This question mark will be your new best friend in Kotlin, allowing you to run tests on your variables that simply return null if the variable is null, letting you know right away the state of your variables without throwing annoying runtime errors. Number 6. Kotlin is the recommended language for Android development. Android development will become increasingly Kotlin first, Google writes in an announcement on May 8, 2019. Many new Jetpack APIs and features will be offered first in Kotlin. If you're starting a new project, you should write it in Kotlin. Code written in Kotlin often means much less code for you, less code to type, test, and maintain. You should take these words seriously. I mean, Google is one of the main developers of Android itself, so they clearly know what they're talking about. This came as a shock to some developers. Google had been a huge supporter of Java for the longest time when it came to development for Android. 
so their switch to Kotlin seemingly out of nowhere definitely made the language a popular choice for many app developers. Number 7. Kotlin compiles with existing Java code seamlessly. One of the main selling points of Kotlin is that it is a 100% Java interoperable programming language, which means that it is consistent with Java and all of its related tools and frameworks. This means that if you want to make the switch, you can do it step by step, incrementally changing aspects of your code until it is fully in Kotlin. Fortunately, if you can't write your code completely in Kotlin, you can use it alongside Java without running into any annoying problems in your builds. Have you ever used Kotlin in any of your projects? Type Kotlin in the comments below and let us know if it made the process any easier. Also, keep watching to the end as we share some exclusive pay data that will really surprise you. While so far we've listed many pros of Kotlin and why you should consider using it, it would be unfair if we didn't highlight some of the potential drawbacks that come with this hot new language. Number 1. Kotlin is nowhere near as popular as a lot of other languages. Even with the help of Google, Kotlin falls behind in terms of popularity. This has a few drawbacks to it that may turn you off learning Kotlin altogether. For one, the job market for Kotlin is significantly smaller than that of other bigger programming languages. It's more attractive to recruiters if you have Java on your resume instead of Kotlin, even though we've highlighted how the languages share a lot in common. Additionally, you may struggle to find some good resources on learning the language. While it may be similar to Java, it has a few quirks that you really have to learn on your own in order to understand how this language works. And unfortunately, there just isn't that much out there to give you a helping hand especially considering how easy it is to learn other languages such as JavaScript and Python these days. Number 2. Compilation in Kotlin isn't as clean as Java This may seem a bit nitpicky, but nitpicking tiny features is what software engineers do best. In some cases, Kotlin actually compiles faster than Java, especially when performing any kinds of incremental builds. However, it's clear that if you want stability and efficiency in your builds, Java trumps Kotlin by quite a significant margin. The Kotlin language is still fairly young, which means it has many areas in which it can grow and become more widely used. Even if you're not convinced to look into it now, you should keep an eye on it as it develops and becomes more mainstream, so that you can make sure you can jump on this opportunity as soon as it looks worthwhile. It may seem that Kotlin is simply a wannabe Java, but over time it may take over Java's long-held position and become the new industry standard. Congratulations, you made it to our bonus content. Thank you for staying tuned in. As a special reward, we're showing you just how much Kotlin engineers are taking home in the three major tech cities, San Francisco, New York City, and Austin, Texas. Kotlin engineer salaries. We've crunched the numbers on average Kotlin engineer salaries, only taking the cash compensation into consideration. Silicon Valley tops the average salaries with Kotlin coders commanding base salaries of around $125,000 per year. Not far behind, New York City-based Kotlin developers are earning $120,000 per year for comparable roles. And while it has improved over the year, Kotlin engineers in Austin, Texas, can expect to earn just into the six figures at $105,000 per year. We hope you enjoyed this video, 9 Things You Need to Know About Kotlin. If you learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments if there's any recruitment, technology, or startup specific content you want us to cover next. Thinking about learning Rust? Check out our video called Rust Programming Language, 5 Things You Need to Know. To be the first to see other amazing recruitment, technology, and startup strategy videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. At Kofi Group, we're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers on a direct hire basis, with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. We help startups outcompete Fang, or Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and Big Tech in the highly competitive war for talent. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers and startups, contact Kofi Group today.